These are two of the many King songs that made it to the top ten. Mark Goodman talked with the man who wrote those tunes, Ray Davies. Now I'm grown up and playing in a band And there's a cop off where the party used to stand My sister's married and she lives on an estate Her daughters go out now it's her turn to wait She knows they get away with things she never could But if I asked her, I wonder if she would Come dancing Come on sister, have yourself a ball the Kinks were one of the original British invasion bands, and they've survived the last 19 years largely on the strength of Ray Davies' songs. The elusive singer is a man of many faces, familiar to many, yet known to very few. On stage, Davies takes on the traits of the various characters who live in his music. How, how much of Ray Davies do we actually see in, in your songs? How much can we know you? Well, uh, I don't know, some... I wish I could be uh, like a lot of the songs, but I'm not. I think the nearest to me is like the guy who's singing Low Budget and singing Stuck in Fusion. I think that's the nearest. I'm not cool and I'm not, I can't, don't forget to dance, I can just get away with singing that. And it's only because I assume a certain position within the song, characterization. But uh, maybe I like to be cooler, you know, and do amazing solos, guitar solos and things. So, you know, I, I think it's always kind of flawed, everything I do. You know, it's, which is maybe a good a way, a strength, use it as a strength. And I like my characters, they're just different characters. I have to get into different roles on stage. Maybe that's a bad thing. That's the only way I can get those songs across. State of Confusion is, is the title. Yeah. And I got to ask you, because of the title, do you think that it's, uh, you get better tunes out of states of confusion or, or anger or? Yeah, um, I mean, a lot of people thought we finished the LP, like they heard Come Dancing and Don't Forget to Dance and uh, a few of the other tracks. They said, oh, it's great, it's finished. I said, no, I still want this particular song, which is the character I like to put in, the guy who sang Low Budget and Pressure. I wanted uh, him to do a number. State of Confusion kind of summed up the way I felt about the whole record. There was something that, that you mentioned fairly recently uh, in a tape that we got here about um, writing Come Dancing. Mm. And when you couldn't come up with a verse, you would write a scene. Oh, yeah. I do work with visuals. I've always done that. Yeah. I had it in mind to do it. It's a way of getting me through certain problems in a song. Come Dancing was easy. I did that one. I, I mean, I wrote it on a Friday and finished it on a Saturday, recorded it on the Monday. Uh -huh. It's great when it works like that, but it, it might have been in my head for a long time to do it, you see. Out of my window, I could see them in the moonlight. Two silhouettes saying goodnight by the garden gate. The day they knocked down the party, my sister stood and cried. The day they knocked down the party, one of my children died, just died. Come Dancing is another top 10 hit for the Kinks, coming almost exactly 19 years after their first You Really Got Me. You really got me. Yeah. Uh, the one that you consistently tease the audience with in concert mm. is Lola. Yeah. And I've, I've read what seems to be four stories about where that really came from. Did you really meet her in a club down in Old Soho? I, I did meet her in a club in Paris. I used to play in a club in Soho and, and, a, and another one. And also, it's, it's a love song, but the name was changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> and, <laughs> It's, it's four different elements in Lola. And it, it really happened, most of it. Yeah. 
Well, George said to me that, that a song that really makes it for him uh, sort of grows. A song is like a child, and it sort of grows over the years. Has Lola changed or grown, or do you feel different about it now? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm just very pleased that I recorded it, mm -hmm. and even more pleased I wrote it. I, I, again, I, I didn't know what I was writing when I was writing. I was just trying to finish the song. Well, I didn't think it was any big deal, but it was like banned in places like Australia. And but didn't the BBC give you trouble with it as well? Yeah, but they, they were more concerned with the fact that I, I said um, Coca-Cola, Cherry Cola. I was in the middle of a tour here and I had to fly back to change one word. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance. I asked her for me when in a dark brown voice she said, no. Hello, hello. Ray Davies has made a career out of being an outsider. One critic described the band's fans as, quote, isolated misfits who are fanatically loyal to their unfashionable heroes. I asked Davies if he thinks that's true. Yeah, I think uh, some of my work songs are kind of about isolated people. I think everybody's isolated, if you really want to think about it. And um, I don't think there is a particular person that's a king to man. Certainly on this tour, that image has been dispelled, you know, the, the newer people, the different people, more varied people than ever. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose our old fans. You know, I think there's a place for everybody. We can't, we can't do all the songs. You know, we'd go all night. I don't know how many songs we've got, but there's a huge catalogue there. Yeah. But uh, I wouldn't agree with that now. Maybe there was a time, you know, when we weren't doing so good. That, that would have applied to a few diehards. But I don't think, not anymore. No. No? No. It's an interesting observation, and uh, parts of it maybe are true. Yeah? Yeah. At uh, a certain time. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I want to give you one more quote. Okay. All right? And this comes from 1965, Melody Maker magazine. And this is uh, a quote from Ray Davies. Isn't it great interviews? I can That's throw up a quote from... That's not the I say, I sing better than Frank Sinatra, is it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you know uh, what I said? Oh, this is what I, said. <laughs> I said, I sing you really got me better than Frank Sinatra could. And it was just misquoted, I suppose. Yeah. Is that the question? Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, oh. You say, one of our aims is to stay amateurs. As soon as we become professionals, we'll be ruined. Well, you're looking at a successful man. <laughs> <laughs> be sure. Like to and, and culture.